Sekejap eh, sekejap eh. Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome for joining us for our fourth series of talk this evening. So I'm Jing Han, who will be your, uh, from University Tunggu Abdurrahman, Malaysia. So we'll be your moderator uh, for this talk this evening. So this uh, Bamboo Talk series is uh, co-organized by University Tunggu Abdurrahman, Malaysia, Utah, with uh, South China University of Technology, Nan Shabat Park, and it is supported by PEM, Malaysian Bamboo Society, Masa and uh, COSA, the Center of uh, Sustainable Architecture. And this uh, talk series is in conjunction with our 2021 Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area Associations of Southeast Asia Nation, Asian International Colleges Design and Construction Competition, Malaysia Preliminary Round. So the team for this uh, company, uh, competition this time is uh, bamboo art space inspired by traditional art and craft. So um, the competition is opening right now to uh, all public and private university in Malaysia. And all feel free to uh, take part in this competition. The submissions uh, due for these competitions is on 30th of August. 2021 end of this month and for more information you can yes. refer to the PEM website and also PEM uh, Facebook page for the uh, detailed information uh, they have posted. So by participating in this competition you'll be able to uh, walk away with uh, two champions with the cash prize of uh, 6,000 ringgit together with the trophy certificates and two of the uh, top champions, the winner, will be able to have their final design being realized and to be built in the real skill at the real site at Nansha Bird Park, followed by uh, two first runner-up awarded with a uh, 2,000 ringgit Malaysia trophy certificate and two second runner-up, 1,000 cash ringgit Malaysia with a trophy and certificate and also uh, a company with uh, five consolation prices with cash 300 ringgit Malaysia and the certificates. So um, today it is our privilege and honors to have uh, our guest speakers with us this evening. Uh, architect Widi Nugroho from Bali, Indonesia to give the topic of In Bamboo We Trust. So um, architect Widi Nugroho is the founder and principal architect of Studio WNA, an architecture consultant in Bali, Indonesia. So they are not only focused on architecture design, but in product design and interior design as well. Their specialization is using bamboo as material and has a lot of experiences in bamboo design and constructions in Indonesia and overseas. They also conducted bamboo workshops for architecture students, bamboo lovers, and some communities in Indonesia. Their workshop ideas are shared knowledge and experiences about how to plant bamboo, bamboo preservations, making scale bamboo models, and hands-on training to build bamboo buildings. So after the talk later, all uh, audience uh, in the floor, feel free to ask questions to uh, architect Widi. And without further ado, we would like to invite architect Widi to give his uh, talk this evening. Welcome, architect Widi. Hi, hello. Uh, thank you. Uh, for Miss uh, B, uh, for uh, the opening. And I would like to uh, thank you to Mr. Abdul Muluk and the university to, uh, because of uh, yeah, 
to give me time to to speak here to share my uh, experience my my project here so i hope uh, all all the all the students uh, can learn uh, about bamboo from my my project yeah i would like to uh, introduce my myself and my studio yeah uh, my name is Nugroho, uh, principal architect in uh, studio wna bali and uh, yeah today uh, I would like to uh, show you all about uh, uh, my uh, projects. There are three projects here, and yeah, uh, I would like to start with uh, with the presentation, if you don't mind. So, yeah, uh, my presentation is uh, about a bamboo glamping in Bali, the bamboo eco design for hospitality business. So it's, it is like a new trend in 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 Bali that uh, uh, the glamping, uh, the glamour camping, it's uh, it's uh, yeah new business in 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 Bali. So I, I will show you about uh, about my project. Okay. So yeah, uh, studio uh, WNA. It's a bamboo uh, architect specialist in Bali. Our studio is in Denpasar. Uh, many of our projects are uh, beach club, wedding chapels, villas, glamping, restaurant, and we have some uh, boutique resort project in uh, in India and in, in, in Indonesia. And yeah, uh, our project. Uh, in Indonesia, China, Malaysia, Thailand, and sorry, and can I India. interrupt? Architect Widi, is your yeah. sc uh, screen is uh, sharing? Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, my presentation is about uh, bamboo glamping in Bali, uh, the bamboo eco design for hospitality business. And yeah, it's uh, my studio, studio WNA. Uh, we are based in 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 Bali, Denpasar, Indonesia. Uh, uh, we have uh, some project in Indonesia, China, Malaysia, Thailand, and and India. Most of our uh, projects are uh, in in the in the hospitality uh, projects, and yeah, uh, tonight uh, there are three uh, of my projects that I want to show you. Uh, number one in Relief Villa uh, by Re Escape Ubud uh, in in Bali, Indonesia. Hydrot uh, Falcon in uh, Bali by Hydrot Bali and Hydrot uh, Horizons in in Bali. So all of of these projects is uh, glamping. We call it glampings or uh, glamorous campings. It's type of uh, like the hotels or inns, uh, but uh, it's like a luxury inn with a, a camping concept but with a facility like a hotel. Uh, it is intended for young couples who love adventure, honeymooners, or urban communities who want to find serenity and live close to the nature. So uh, we sell not only the, uh, you know, it's not like a conventional hotel that they usually uh, sell the, the rooms only, but uh, in my project, in uh, the glampings, we sell the experience. So, what kind of experience that we sell? You can see uh, after this uh, this uh, slides. So, we have uh, in in my glamping, we are uh, we have a private space. Uh, we have uh, 
private gardens, tropical gardens, and something like that. Okay. Uh, I start with uh, the Raleigh Villa by Ria Scapewood. So the idea is come from uh, local birds. Uh, uh, it's a local bird that they usually uh, live uh, around the, the site. The site is uh, close to the rice field in, in Ubud, Bali. And the first uh, day that I visit the, the site, there are a lot of birds uh, flying around uh, the site. So I think uh, the birds, I think yeah, it's it's quite unique to uh, to use that that bird uh, in, in in my designs idea. So after that, uh, I I make some sketches and it's the for sketch idea of, of the uh, of the the bamboo uh, clampings. Okay, we uh, there are uh, two uh, layer of roof here with skylights. Yeah, it's the the idea, the first idea, and it is the the floor plan. Uh, basically, it's a open uh, building concept. Here you can see it is the, the master bedroom with open uh, bathroom here, and there is a, a bath bathtub and also uh, the shower outdoor outdoor showers, and it is the the veranda. Basically, there are uh, two uh, uh, two story buildings, and, and the the second story is. Uh, we, we call it loft, uh, like a mezzanine, and there is uh, also uh, the net uh, on 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 the on the top. It's quite small uh, uh, projects, only forty two square meter of floor. So you can see uh, this boundary wall to keep the the privacy uh, of the guests. This is the bamboo scale models. So after we uh, we have the floor plan, we have uh, the sketches of the idea. We we, uh, we made up this uh, scale model, so we can know uh, how the structures, uh, the joints of the of the bamboos, and something like that. Yeah, sometimes we. Uh, in my project, uh, we we design the, the landscape uh, also, uh, and the the design idea for the landscape is uh, it's like a tropical Balinese uh, gardens with local you know local flowers, uh, uh, fruits, something like that. Uh, so we we try to attract the you know the the birds, something like that, and. Yeah, it is. If you see this uh, this area, it's a uh, one unit of uh, glampings. So in in the uh, in in this uh, plan, you can see there is a, a plunge pool here and stepping stone. It is the gate. If you see my cursor, entrance gates, and it is the buildings and it is the the outdoor uh, shower. This is the under construction process. So from the models, uh, we we transfer the uh, the models uh, to the contractor, and contractor learn how how to build the the bamboo uh, buildings. So the contractor will uh, measure all the, the part of the models, and after that, uh, they build this uh, this uh, buildings. So you can see uh, the double roof here. We we put the skylight, same like in in the sketch, and it is the the wall, the boundary wall of the uh, bathroom. And you see, this is the the plant pool with uh, overflow here. So we can we can hear the the sound of the the water when we stay here in in the glampings. So uh, basically, there are uh, three units of glamping here, but uh, 
uh, I want show you one one sample in, in this project. And yeah, you can see this uh, rice field here yeah, and at the right uh, photos and the the whites. This is uh, uh, they are birds. Yeah. And yeah, it's still under construction. You see, uh, we bend the, the columns here, and we use a, a solid stone for for the uh, column bamboo base to reduce the the humidity. And it is the the finished project, really villa. So you can see. This is the, the boundary. The boundary. We have uh, plants, flowers to uh, to hide the, the walls, and so you you have the, your private garden inside uh, your glampings. You can see here it is the uh, the veranda and it is uh, the uh, the master bedroom and this is the second floor. We have lounge here. Uh, we call it loft, and it is the uh, the net, so you can laying and uh, enjoy the the view of the the rice field in front of this uh, glampings. So we have a hanging chair here, so uh, the guests not only stay in 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 the room, but they can spend the time uh, to enjoy the the gardens and yeah. Uh, they, they they have a lot of activity when when they uh, stay in in the glamping so the experience that uh, the guests have in 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 this uh, glamping compared with the conventional buildings completely different Con completely different it is the uh, the other side of the uh, the uh, glampings, the, the private uh, garden space, and we use a glass door and windows. So uh, from the bed we can see outside. Uh, we have uh, private plant pools. And it is from inside. So it's like an in and out feelings. Uh, uh, blurring the the inner and outer space so when you sleep uh, and uh, wake up in the morning you can see the, the sunrise and yeah enjoy the the view of of ubud bali and there is no conditioner here because uh, the air flow is very fresh uh, because around of this area it's uh, rice field So it is the uh, the second floor. Uh, we call it loft space, and yeah, it is it is like a like a secret place to uh, uh, yeah, to hide because we we just use ladder to to climb up to this this floor. So uh, we can uh, spend time for reading book reading book or just laying. Uh, on the nets, uh, enjoy the rice field. Or just uh, uh, talking with with uh, our partner. And uh, you can see the skylight is very important uh, in this building because I will, I like to uh, to to play with with the light, with the shadow. So uh, you know the feeling of the space. Uh, it's more uh, warm, warm, like a warm feelings when uh, uh, when we are here in, in this uh, room. It's the outdoor uh, shower. So uh, yeah, the the idea is like a, we are uh, showering in in the jungles, but. Uh, uh, with a private uh, bathroom. So yeah, 
for European or uh, Americans, it's very uh, interesting to to try uh, the outdoor shower because yeah, it is in Bali, uh, it's in in paradise. So they want to to try something different from uh, their uh, countries. So we we sell this the bamboo uh, the uh, you know the the landscape the the plants the design something like that and it is the the bathtub the outdoor bathtub we use uh, all local material the loose pebbles the flowers and like that yeah it is uh, from from the top there are three units uh, number one is this one, the relief is this one, and the second uh, glamping is this one, and this the the third. And it's the uh, 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 the lobby and the big uh, backup house, and it is the, uh, the the parking area. So it's quite quite small projects. Uh, the land is only. Uh, uh, seven thousand and seven hundred square meters it's quite uh, quite small so you can see the the rice field around this this uh, uh, glampings okay this is uh, the first uh, project and the second project is uh, high rod falcons so uh, it is the floor plans so the idea is come from the uh, the local uh, bird, Elang uh, Jawa, we call it. So, and uh, the site of this uh, project is very close to the uh, Gunung Agung, Agung Mountain, and there are a lot of birds, uh, uh, the eagle, the falcons, so. Uh, I use that uh, that idea uh, to design these uh, the glampings. So basically, it is uh, only one uh, one floor. Uh, it is the, the bed, and it is the the lounge area, and it is the uh, bathroom, and it's the, the shower here, and we have a very big uh, wooden deck. And it is the uh, bathtub, the outdoor bathtub. And this project is only uh, 50 square meter of, of floors. Uh, you can see these uh, sections. Uh, we rise the, these uh, boilings about uh, 75 uh, centi from, from the ground. Okay, this is the, the first sketch of, uh, of the glampings. Uh, yeah, we try to to put the the ideas in these projects. Uh, we use uh, glass and we try to uh, to mix the uh, you know the material bamboo glass and also the scrap wood here for the deckings and also uh, stone bed top for the point of the entrance. Is the the bamboo scale models uh, one by fifty? Uh, maybe you ask me why uh, one by fifty because uh, that is the uh, the good size for for the uh, bamboo scale model. If we make uh, one by uh, one hundred, is too small and it's difficult to see and to to measure the the, the models. So we need to uh, to measure all all the part of the of the uh, models, and it is the under construction process. So yeah, it is the solid stone, very very heavy for the for the bed bathtub. It's about two point five tons and very very difficult to to bring the uh, this stone 
from yeah from the from outside and you can see we we raise the this uh, this floor because uh, we want to reduce the the footprint of the buildings so we hope uh, the the rain water will absorb to the uh, the uh, to the soil very well and also uh, to reduce the uh, the humid the humidity from the soil to the to the buildings and we use a small bamboo you see this uh, small bamboo is only diameter uh, it's about uh, seven to eight centi centimeter and we use uh, two type of bamboo uh, the black bamboo and uh, the natural colors the the brown yeah it is uh, uh, the the constructions under construction so we use a full glass of, uh, at the front so we can see clearly outside from inside and yeah i think uh, if we stay in uh, conventional hotels it's almost impossible to have uh, a few like this i mean uh, one 180 degree view from your bed. We uh, we plant some uh, some flower here outside, and you can see this is uh, the uh, lotus lotus pond. It is the finished project of uh, hydrot falcons. So I think it's quite romantic photos. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we uh, we try to to design something uh, uh, something unique uh, with bamboo. Uh, yeah, in in my studio, uh, the WNA, uh, we design many type of buildings. The small one until the uh, three, four stories buildings, but uh, the most difficult uh, design is to to design the the glampings because uh, small projects, small building is very complicated. Basically, it's very complicated. So, yeah, from from outside we can see inside because we we use a uh, uh, glass glass wall and door and windows it is uh, the bird view so it is the 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 ponds it is the the bathtub uh, with uh, hot hot water we have a private garden here around here so uh, the guests can spend the time not only in the inside the building but they can uh, enjoy outside also so the concept of the of the the landscape is uh, tropical balinese garden so uh, why we 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 use uh, some materials uh, some other materials like wood and gardens, because uh, we, we want to show uh, the modern design uh, of, of bamboo. So we can uh, design uh, organic shape of the, of the bamboo buildings, but in the, in the same time, we can design uh, modern. Many of uh, bamboo building in Indonesia in the past it's traditional, very, very traditional. So uh, with this project, uh, I would like to, uh, uh, to show the, the public that we can design bamboo uh, in the modern way. So with uh, the creativity, we can design uh, uh, very nice uh, bamboo building, even the small bamboo building. 
this uh, yeah we put a simple lighting indoor and outdoor yeah it is the interior design so uh, in my studio double uh, studio WNA we designed the interior uh, also uh, my uh, interior designer is a specialist in uh, uh, bamboo designs so we have interior design specialist in bamboo so she uh, designed this furniture it is if you see this it is a leaf so uh, the concept is we are uh, sleeping under the leaf this and also this uh, uh, chair we design it and yeah if you see this uh, the, the ceiling we use uh, uh, different colors because we want to play the the contrast between the the brown bamboo natural colors and the black ones. I think it's, it's more interesting to, to have uh, something uh, contrast into in, in, the, in this designs. This uh, from uh, other side. So it is, uh, yeah, warm feelings. So I think the, the best time is raining seasons so we can enjoy the uh, the rain from uh, this bed and you know in, uh, inside of this uh, glamping we have like a warm feelings inside and we, uh, we have a hotel quality bed also here so the guests will in very very enjoy with with this space yeah maybe uh i show you the concept of of the interior it is the the shape of the of the leaf and yeah it is the 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 models the bamboo models So we, we, we create uh, the architecture and also the interior. It's the, the table that you see. We use all bamboo. It is the, the light, the lighting, uh, the falcons. So you can see the, the tile of, of the ceilings. It's, it's very difficult to, to make this because we use uh, bamboo and it is not flat basically and yeah it's like a, a craftsmanship and it is the the light the falcon light you can see this uh, this photo the contrast between the black and the, the natural bamboo It is the, you can see this table we design also. We create a, a, a interesting space inside with a very simple, uh, you know, a simple wall design. It is the, uh, the outdoor shower. You see this uh there is no wall here uh, at the uh, uh, bathroom showers and this is the, the most favorite uh, uh, spot uh, with the stone bathtub outdoor stone bathtub for, uh, yeah it's, it's quite big you can see uh, it is for three people here and yeah, it is uh, yeah, the outdoor activity, so the guests can uh, uh, yeah, spend the time, enjoy on, on the net here. So uh, 
that is the the experience that uh, that we sell to to the guests. So we we put the hanging chair. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is the the third projects. Uh, we call it Hero Horizons. Yeah, uh, it is the floor plan. So uh, we have pantry here. There are uh, two access, uh, one from pantry here, and there is one more here to, to this uh, uh, building. And it is the, uh, the hot pool, like a ja Japanese onsen, you know, the, the hot, hot pool, Japanese hot pool, and it is the uh, the bench, the lounge, and it is the, the semi-outdoor shower. Uh, this project is only 70 square meter of floor. And you see, the, it is the uh, bamboo ram. So uh, there's no staircase, but we use uh, bamboo ram here. And it is uh, the bed. Uh, we call it uh, island bed. So the floor plan is only here. The floor, and it is the the other the other floor. And it is the net here. And this building is completely open. This the the first sketch idea. So yeah, you can see uh, when the first uh, idea is we want to put the, uh, uh, the pool here and with some uh, stone, uh, stepping stone into uh, the pantry and it is the, the second entrance and there is no no wall here. It is a trans. Yeah, it is small wall, but it's it's transparent. Basically, it's not wall. Only like a small partition. Yeah, it is the section. So it is the the hot the hot pool here. It is the ram here? It is the islands of the bed. And it is the, the others uh, floor. We use the ladder to climb up to this. And it is the net here. Yeah, you can see also uh, we raise uh, uh, the floor uh, to reduce the, the, the footprint. It's the models. So uh, we, we made uh, exactly the same uh bamboo scale model with 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 the the real because uh, the contractor will follow this this model this is the under construction process we use a uh, trash roof this uh, for the roof it's a local trash roof and you can see this bamboo is uh, very long this uh, almost 10 meter of bamboo from here to here. So we put uh, the skylight here. And yeah, we try to, to plant, to grow the, the plants here. And it is after uh, the roof complete. Yeah, uh, in in the construction pro, uh, process, especially in in in, in bamboo uh, constructions, uh, discuss with the client is uh, very important because uh, there are a lot of uh, adjustment on site. We need to to discuss with with the client to uh, to solve the problems 
ya almost uh, 30% percent uh, construction on site need to to check uh, to remeasure the the size because you know uh, the bamboo it's organic uh, material so uh, and it's it's bamboo uh, with different uh, size uh, and yeah it's not like like a like a woods it's very different so we need to adjust and to have creativity uh, on site so it is my client uh, he try to to measure uh, uh, the roof and the, with uh, this floor to check oh it is a good uh, good size It is uh, the ram here. We use a black bamboo here to cover the, the floor. We use a split bamboo. Yeah, this is the, the, the finished project. So you can see this is the, the hot pool here, the pantry here, the bench. Here is the ram. It is the island of the bed. It is the uh, the floor. The next floor. It is the net. It is uh, the other photos. So you can see uh, this thatch roof is quite. Uh, uh, quite uh, cukup tebal. It's about uh, 25 centis. You can see this the the light from the skylight here. Yeah. yeah, it is it is the bed, the islands. We have a uh, yeah, split lever floor. This is the net, skylight, it is the, uh, the other floor. This uh, other, uh, the other floor is for extra bed or just uh, space to, uh, yeah, to, yeah, to hang out, something like that. This is the ram, the bamboo ram. So yeah, we, we, we create something unique here in, in, in this building because maybe it's the, the first time in the world that we, we use uh, you know the, the bamboo ram <laughs> in, in small buildings. And the black bamboo is very beautiful. Okay, this is the, uh, the entrance into the pantry. It is the, uh, the other uh, photos of the, of the bathroom. Sorry, this, uh, this uh, photo is uh, falcon. But this it is uh, this uh, photo is uh, uh, horizons, so there is no no wall here, only uh, plants for the barriers for the privacy. We use a solid stone here, and it is the shower. So, the feeling of outdoor, the outdoor feelings. Yeah, it is uh, from the the top floor. So from the top floor, we can see outside to all the uh, to all the to all the gardens. It is the the bed. Yeah. This this type of uh, 
Uh, glamping is not uh, for families, basically. So it is for young people. So uh, uh, young people that love uh, to stay close to the nature and want to try something uh, uh, different. So yeah, it is uh, the place for, for them to uh, to stay. So we have a very specific, very specific uh, guest here. It is the uh, the top floor. We can use for the extra bed here. You can see uh, the skylight. It is in the night. I think it's quite romantic with with this light. With the hot pool here. The concept of this net and this uh, bed is we can uh, talk uh, uh, together here, but in different place. So one here and one on, on the bed. And, you know, it's a very interesting experience, I think. Yeah, the others. Uh, image. So it's yeah, it's quite yeah, it's very different with, with the conventional hotels. But the quality of the design, the quality of the uh, product, it's same same quality, hotel quality. Yeah, it is the view. Uh, from this uh, building to this uh, Gunung Agung, the mountains. So why we call uh, we give it name uh, Horizon because from this uh, building uh, on the top floor we can see the, the horizon of this of this uh, mountain, very beautiful mountain, Gunung Agung. So you can see the landscape. It's very, very natural. Uh, there are a lot of uh, rice field and also the tropical garden and the very fresh uh, air. Yeah, uh, it is the, uh, from, from the top, this is the falcons, the horizon falcons. It is the uh, Sorry, it is Falcon, it is uh, Horizon, and it is uh, Beehive. Uh, I designed this also. Okay, I think uh, it is uh, my presentations. Thank you very much. If you have any question, please uh, let me know and feel free to ask me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Architect Widi for sharing with us all your very wonderful and stunning project. So Thank you. I like your idea, the design outcome as well of uh, bringing in the local indigenous uh, natural view into the uh, bamboo space setting, as well as to extend the space outwards to allow the users to immerse in the overall setting inside out. And, 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 and there is a particular, a few slides that you showed to us that you are very, very particular in the bamboo selections in terms of their sizes, their color, their textures and form to uh, create these uh, very fine of uh, representations of the wall, floor, and also the ceiling. I like the black bamboo flooring very much. And it yeah. uh, actually uh, make a, produce a very strong contrast uh, to the indoor, the bamboo environment. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, we try to to use the uh, uh, the natural colors, uh, the bamboo itself. So in Indonesia, we have a black bamboo. So we try to expose that that material. Uh, and, that is uh, a the black bamboo is a local, uh, local native species. Yeah, local what, in, what, in Indonesia. What? What is called the the name? What you guys uh, normally call it? 
uh, bambu wulung. We call it bambu wulung for the local names. Uh, uh, in uh, I don't know in in uh, Latin's name, but yeah, it's uh, native from from Indonesia. Yeah. So um okay, so let us move into the questions given yeah. to architect Widi. So we have a uh, first questions uh, initiated by architect Adrianta. So two questions for you, uh, Widi. So number one is, uh, what are the possible spans that can be covered with bamboo? Number two, what kind of maintenance is required for these bamboo houses? Yeah, for the maintenance, uh... I think it's it's quite same like uh, you have a uh, like a wooden uh, sorry a bamboo house something like that uh, uh, wood and bamboo it's same uh, material I mean uh, natural material so you need to uh, you know to uh, uh, to maintain the uh, the buildings so like a, a wooden house you need to uh, recording the the wall, the floor, something like that. Every let's say three years, two years, it depends to the uh, uh, part of of the building. Same like in in uh, in, in bamboo house, uh, uh, the the maintenance is is same like uh, uh, bamboo. Sorry, uh, wooden wooden house. So basically, it's it's quite same. And for the, the second question, it's about the the cost, yeah, the about budget. The maintenance cost. Yeah, um, any man, uh, what kind of maintenance is required for uh for the bamboo houses that you uh the show us in the your uh, the slide your project? Oh uh, yeah, already uh I answered that uh the question. I mean the the first question is about the budget, right? The first one is uh, about uh, what are the possible spans that can be uh, spans can be covered with bamboo. Spans, oh, the, the span of the of the structure, you mean? Uh, span the uh, the structures, you mean? I think uh, he is asking the 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 coverage spans of the bamboo. The coverage. Uh, mm, possible spans that be. Am I asking the correct questions? Uh, yeah. It's about the it's about the roof. I could architect with you. How are you? Oh, this Pak is Mandela. architect. Uh, no, architect Adrianta di sini. Oh, Adrianta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we meet again. Yeah, <laughs> inshallah. So I, I just to share, I want you to share to the students because the possible span of the roof, what is the coverage maximum span can go for bamboo, especially for your project? Oh, uh, with it. Yeah. So, uh, for for my projects, uh, to have a twelve meter span, it's 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 something uh, normal. I mean. Uh, in, in the other project, I have a more than uh, uh, 11 uh, um, uh, meters of, of uh, the span of the structures. Uh, that is uh, depend to, to the design. I mean, uh, we use bamboo. Uh, I mean, uh, how to explain it? Because of, the bam because of the material of the bamboo, it's a very long material. I mean, we, if we compare with the uh, wood structures, it's quite difficult to get uh, like a four or five meter of, of wood. But uh, bamboo, it's very easy uh, to get a 10 meter long bamboo. So that is uh, very easy to, to, to make the, the structures with uh, 11, 12, even 15 meters of, 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 the, of the roof. It's no problems. Uh -huh. Right, right. But it also depends on the on the detailing of jointing as well, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. right. Uh -huh. Terima kasih, Pak. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
So um, we move to the, there are a few more questions for you. Architect Widi. So uh, the next one will be uh, from Parameter. So um, he was uh, amazed by a project and how you take those inspiration from nature and transform it into your design. Okay. Amazing. So as an architect, I want to know from your point of view, how much the approach by nature affect your design? Okay. As you mentioned it before, the roof form in the first villa was inspired by the bird. Does it affect also to your layout? Uh, and users experience to it or any other design aspect and how much do you think the importance of concept in a villa okay yeah uh, yeah as an architect uh, especially in, in, in bamboo uh, the crucial thing is uh to get the idea and uh, to get the idea it's it's uh, not easy uh, for me so to visit the uh, the site the first time to see uh, uh, how the contour how how the the view and that is very very important because uh like uh yeah in in, in bali uh if we design hotel or villa or resort, we need to to get a few. So, uh, yeah, number one, uh, I need to come to uh, to the site to see the potential of 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 few of uh, yeah everything on site to see how it's uh, how it feels, uh, and after that, uh, yeah, we can imagine the the space. When we are standing uh, on site, and that is the 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 best idea, I think, to see closely with with uh, 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 on site, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The bird is, I think, yeah. Uh, the idea is the bird or uh, uh, flowers or. Uh, live we can we yeah uh, we never know before we uh, we come to to the site I mean uh, the idea so some of our projects idea come from bird flowers and leaves something like that that is uh, yeah part of our design process and uh, sorry uh, what it's uh, the other uh, sorry the other uh, Question: The side uh, about the roof form uh, inspired by the bird, and then uh, he's uh, wondering whether the the overall uh, your inspirations from the bird oh. it, uh, only uh, apply to the roof, or it does also have impact to the uh, space layout and uh, and also the user's experience uh, who use the space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, the most important to design villa, glamping, hotels, uh, resort, it's to create the story. The story of the design, the story of the space. So we are not only design the building, but the story behind it. So it's, that is a, the part, a part of the, you know, a part of the uh, selling point to the guests, like the high dot, we, we have uh, different concept. It's it's uh, glampings, and uh, that is that is uh, yeah uh, the most power powerful to sell the the you know, the glamping because uh, when the the guests come and they know oh that is uh, from the birds. Oh, it's the story that there are some story behind the design. Why like this? Why like this? So that is the part of, of the design and the part of for the, uh, uh, you know, selling selling point for these glampings. Uh -huh. And uh, 
yeah, the layout also, yeah, the bird and the, uh, the layout, yeah, is impact to, to the, uh, uh, the layout of the rooms, something like that. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, sometimes uh, it's, it's, it's difficult to explain because when we are working uh, on the model and, and on a sketch, uh, the idea come in and uh, the other the things. That is my answer. Okay, so uh, thank you, uh, Architect Weedy. I think uh, you you did cover for the uh, your uh, opinions about uh, how important the concept is to the uh, overall design okay for uh, the parameter the audience then followed by um, Mr. Sebastian Xiao we got three questions for you so uh, number one what is the roofing materials in the first two projects in what uh, he's asking what is the roofing materials in the first two projects Oh, first, first project. First, okay. number one and two project. Okay. And uh, question number two, he wondering, is there any fire code in regards to bamboo structure in Bali? And number three, is the black bamboo color naturally or been treated? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the roof, uh, uh, number one pro uh, number one project, and uh, the third we use. Uh, sorry, one one and two we use a uh, bamboo bamboo roof, flattened roof, and we have uh, asphalt seat under the uh, under the bamboo roof, so uh, the asphalt seat will protect the you know the leaking something like that. And uh, the the third is uh, trash roof, and about the fire, yeah, that is it is the uh, the problem uh, for uh, bamboo building, also for the uh, wooden house. It's it seems, uh, yeah, now, uh, the most important uh, for uh, you know. Um, uh, how to explain it? Yeah, there, there is no uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, fire, fire uh, code. Yeah, fire code. We we don't have it. Fire code, basically. And uh, usually we we just use uh, 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 portable. Uh, you know, pemadam api something like that. Yeah, uh, number one is for me. Uh, number one is uh, to save the the people, to save the guests. Number one, uh, and number two is to save the the buildings. So, yeah, after we have uh, uh, we save the uh, the humans, the building burns. I think yeah, it's it's no problem because it will uh, make new again, but. If life is, is difficult, so if you ask me, uh, can we use uh, you know uh, uh, sprinkle something like that? Yeah, we can use it, but it's it's look uh, ugly. Yeah, for me it's look ugly. So why uh, I I put a uh, lot to spawn uh, pools and also the bathtub. That is uh, the easy way to you know to to. Menyiram, menyiram air ke api. You know what I mean, yeah. And also, uh, and uh, the black bamboo is natural bamboo. Yeah. All right. Okay. So followed by uh, architect Juhairi. So, uh, how do you calculate the quantity of bamboo required to build? any of the buildings or structures during the planning and design stage. Okay. 
question number one. Question number two, where do you get the bamboo from? Can you also show us the bamboo treatment process so it can last and easy to shape? Okay, so to calculate all, all, the, all the bamboo uh, materials, so the, the, easy, the easy way is from the, the models. Uh, if you see my slide, so this, from this model, we can count how many rafters, bamboo rafters, how many uh, bamboo poles, uh, how big is it, from, from these uh, 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 models. Because uh, on, uh, on the drawing, it's almost impossible to, uh, uh, to count the, uh, the numbers of the bamboo. So the easy way is uh, to count the, from these models. And uh, about bamboo, bamboo, yeah, with bamboo. Uh, we use local bamboo here uh, in, in, in Bali. And uh, what else about, about bamboo? Uh, and Number also two? the bamboo treatment process. Oh. Right, to last uh, longer and also yeah. easy to shape. Yeah, the, uh, we use uh, uh, borak borak acid for, for the bamboo treatment. And uh, if we use uh, uh, correctly the, the bamboo treatment, uh, it can uh, stand uh, until 20 years. And, but it depends to your design also. I mean, uh, the design, the architect technique to, to solve all the problem uh, in the bamboo uh, buildings. So like, uh, why the roof is so big? Because I need to cover all the structures, all the bamboo from from the rain, from the uh, yeah, uh, direct sunlight, if I can, and also uh, from the uh, humidity from the soil. So uh, 20 years or 25 years is depend to the, your design also. Uh, yeah, I think it's great. So um, I think uh, we have quite a number. 14 something questions uh, in the list. So uh, then I think we will uh, go through the, the one by one, the questions until uh, 9.45, then we will uh, end, uh, end this uh, talk. Then the following questions, uh, those who are interested, uh, will highly encourage them to uh, email the architect Weedy personally, right? the, the email contact later. Yeah. So, um, following by President, he's asking why do you chose bamboo as the main material for your project? How does that reason affect your process design? Yeah, uh, I start, why uh, I use bamboo for my uh, projects? and to be a uh, bamboo architects because uh, I see uh, there are a lot of potential uh, bamboo material, uh, especially in Indonesia and from, from our uh, culture, uh, uh, our traditional uh, uh, architecture, uh, they use uh, bamboo also. So basically, my design I learned from uh, from traditional architecture. Basically, yeah, uh, from Balinese uh, architecture, traditional architecture, Japanese traditional architecture, and yeah, and I create new from uh, from uh, from the traditional to the modern uh, with a new technique, uh, new designs, and yeah, after we have. Uh, very good uh, bamboo treatment, uh, yeah, and the technology also, and with the creativity, we, uh, yeah, we, we create uh, 
we can create many many beautiful buildings with, with bamboo and yeah uh, i think to be a bamboo architect i think uh, it's like a out of the box because uh, many of architect design uh, concrete uh, steel something like that and i think to be specialist with, with bamboo i think it's very interesting because not too many bamboo architect in, in in the world so yeah i think so uh, by, uh, I think this is a similar question uh, regarding mm -hmm. techniques, protection techniques and material you use to protect bamboo in building. Mm, to protect from, from what? Sorry, uh, protection techniques from um, the natural factors, suns, uh, sunshine, the uh, rains, and uh, probably the the uh, attack by the insect, so the pro protection techniques. Yeah, for the pro yeah for the protection protection technique uh, from the permit, uh, we can use uh, uh, boracuric acid or other uh, uh, chemicals, and to protect uh, the bamboo, we, we just use uh, uh, natural coating uh, in in. In Indonesia, we call it uh, a, a lasur. It's it's like clear uh, finishing, something like that. So uh, the the, uh, uh, the coating will uh, uh, cover all the bamboo from uh, if there is there are some splash, the rain splash, uh, the water not uh, come inside to the to the bamboo because uh, we already cover with. Uh, with the uh, coatings and uh, yeah, uh, the roof is very very important in, in uh, bamboo design because the angle of the roof uh, uh, also very important. Uh, you need to to make uh, the roof uh, uh, minimum uh, thirty degree or thirty five degree. 45 so the the rain flow very fast uh, and yeah that that's uh, our uh, design method to, to protect our our bamboo structure yeah. yes okay and uh, following by the uh, Ma Chi Chong uh, Mr. Ma very natural and nice uh, architectural resort feel any special plants can be planted to deter mosquitoes and insects. So, oh, what, what is the question? <laughs> this is not not about bamboo, but about the the uh, mosquito repellent plants. So, uh, I think uh, this one uh, we have uh, mosquito plants. You now, those are plants that. Actually, it uh, released a very strong uh, citrus smell. You know, or commonly we call it the mosquito plants, or they can call it uh, scientifically uh, pelargonium. Uh, pelargonium, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the scientific botanical name is one of it. Also, and 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 those plants that has a very strong uh, strong sense, you know, they can actually uh, help to uh, repel the uh, insects. Uh... In the, mm. Mm. Is there uh, any of this kind in uh, in uh, Bali? Where the species may be various from uh, region to region. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, in in Bali, uh, they are in in uh, in the uh, bamboo traditional treatment, uh, especially in West Java, they use uh, traditional uh, uh, bamboo treatment method. Uh, yeah, I don't know the name of of the of the of the plant. Uh, it's like a poison plant, and uh, I forgot the name. And they they put uh, the water and the the leaf of uh, that uh, that poison uh, 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 leaf to to the you know to the. Uh, uh, buck 
the bamboo treatments. So they this uh, uh, sub submer the the bamboo, and but it's it's uh, for the industrial it's it's difficult because uh, in in one by in uh, in one project I need uh, one thousand bamboo, so it's very difficult to to get from the traditional traditional treatment because uh, to treat the, the bamboo traditionally is need uh, three months four months so it's very difficult but we have uh, uh, the traditional uh, bamboo treatment in in our country yeah okay so uh maybe we'll address two more questions okay for your architect ready so um what are the Species of bamboo you use generally? Yeah. Uh, generally, uh, two, two bamboo. Yeah. Uh, the big one we, we call it uh, petong. Uh, the name is uh, Dendrocalamus asper, I think. Uh, I, I forgot the name of uh, the the Latin name. Uh, the second is. Uh, Bamboo tali, the small one for the rafter or for the walls, basically only only two, and uh, that is very basic of, of, of bamboo that I, I use. The other uh, bamboo, uh, the black one, the black bamboo, uh, uh, also uh, we call it bamboo duri, uh, uh, the small one uh, uh, for usually we use uh, for the railing or something uh, uh, some uh, something like uh, artwork uh, for the interior uh, not not many many bamboo only uh, i can say maximum five or four bamboo only yeah okay so um, one last question i can take maybe then uh, i will encourage them to uh, send personal uh, message to you yeah so, uh, I would like to ask uh, Architect Widi whether the usage of bamboo in Indonesia goes beyond villa or resorts. Is bamboo used for urban context such as mass housing? If not, is there a trend the usage of bamboo would be extended to urban context in future? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, in, in Indonesia, uh, for the mass uh, housing, uh, we, use, we use bamboo uh, only uh, when we have uh, like a, a natural disaster, you know, when we have uh, like earthquakes and uh, we need. Uh, uh, a lot of house houses for for the people so uh, the government and the local ngo uh, uh, make a, a bamboo houses for, for the for the people uh, and yeah some some ngo uh, they uh, prepare uh, like a uh, some bamboo uh, houses for for, for the uh, for, for the uh, some community, but um, I think in Indonesia it's uh, still need time to to promote the bamboo, you know, because uh, many of, of of the people say that ah bamboo is very bad. It's uh, wood for the uh, poor people, something like that. So uh, from from this project, my projects, I want to, you know, to, to promote the bamboo. So uh, uh, I hope uh, all the people can see, oh, bamboo is very strong. Oh, bamboo is very beautiful, something like that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's quite difficult to explain, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh... Uh, I think uh, you have answered uh, very well, Architect Widi, uh, mm -hmm. responding to the question. 
So um, I think due to time constraint, we already reached uh, close to 10. So uh, we'd like to close shop for this uh, section today. And as you can see on the screen, we have the details of uh, architect Widi uh, and his studio, uh, the details of the email address and also Instagram and also the web, uh, website of uh, Studio WMA that uh, you can follow up with uh, 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 if you are interested uh, after the talk today. Okay, so yeah. um, to end this session, uh, can we or we, we take a group photos uh, before we go <laughs> on sure. uh, Architect uh, Bay, can we promote our next uh, speaker? Sure, uh, Muluk. So um, our next fifth series of talk is, uh, uh, is uh, followed by architect Eugene Law. And then he was going to give us a speech on better bamboo buildings. So we welcome everyone to join us uh, again uh, next week. Okay, so that's uh, that's uh, uh, comes to our fifth uh, fifth series. So we have we will have another two more. Am I right, Muluk? Uh, yes, we have another two more. So can everyone open up? Finish our uh, first round. We're gonna invite uh, architect Yudi again <laughs> for the second series. Maybe he can talk uh, more about his other project because he has a lot of building, interesting building project. I think this talk is uh, customized for the bamboo competition. So that's why he only show the small buildings or the pavilions, you know. Uh, uh, so maybe uh, after this, we can expand uh, the topic to cover general bamboo, including preservation, including uh, uh, interior design and other other aspect of bamboo design. Uh, I think that that's what we're going to do next. But for this uh, for tonight, this talk is actually uh, architect Ruby has specifically designed for students mm -hmm. uh, in preparation for their. Uh, entering the competition. So that's why he shows us the small building. Even small also, it's still three-story, you know, so it's quite uh, fascinating. Uh, I know that he has built uh, much larger buildings. For example, the Indonesian Pavilion in Guangzhou, China, which is one of the biggest uh, bamboo building in, uh, in that region. So I think maybe uh, if we have, uh, you know, if we... Uh, uh, after we complete this series of talk, we're going to invite architect UD again for the next uh, uh, follow up from uh, this uh, talk. But we did going get contract. <laughs> <laughs> and once the pandemic is over, we're going to invite him to come to Kuala Lumpur and give uh, uh, maybe a do a, a workshop for us to you know to really put our hands on uh, using bamboo for construction material because i can see a lot of the audience here is architects rather than students <laughs> <laughs> maybe can i say something mulu yeah on behalf yes. of pam education yeah but with the yeah I, uh, myself i was it's a pleasure to to have you tonight yeah oh. kami berbesar hati dapat pak with the so oh, like you. likewise what Muluk has said that you know hopefully the pandemic is over we would like to invite you to Kuala Lumpur and then meet up in physical you know you can share your your intellectual skill intellectual knowledge to us very well thank you Pak Widi terima kasih terima kasih so Muluk maybe perhaps you can remind to the uh, registrator registration students so that the deadlines is Around the corner? Yeah, the submission is uh, end of this month, uh, mm. 30th of August. Still have a lot of time. I think they yeah. have uh, uh, more than four weeks to work on their design. And uh, uh, and just to inform all the participants, we have added two more awards for the uh, prizes. Yes. The uh, Sustainable Award, which uh, uh, we've got the idea from the previous three speakers who talk about 
the importance to protect the bamboo when you design bamboo. So a lot of uh, the uh, participants usually when they submit their work, they don't consider protecting the bamboo from the elements in their design. So we have a special award for that and also for a popular award by voting through uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, so that's yes. about the competition, the updates about the competition. Wonderful. Okay, Akita, back. We can take the group photo now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank huh? you so much. What with it? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Thank you. I think we need to go to bed already. It's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> I think, yes, I think most of them uh, is leaving <laughs> to bed. But uh, anyhow, we, 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 we take a group photos with uh, architect we did, you know, for uh, uh, memory. Yes. Uh, please uh, on your uh, camera, everyone, so we can take a group photo. Uh, Pak <laughs> maybe you can unshare your slides. Oh, okay. Uh, stop here. Okay. We can see the viewers all over the world, from Myanmar, uh, yes, I suppose oh, from wow. India. Yeah. <laughs> and then I can see a few of them from, yeah, among the students. Wonderful. All right, Bay. It's a bit challenging sir, because normally uh, close to late night, everybody don't want to open up the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not presentable. <laughs> Not presentable. Eh? Uh, but it's okay. Uh, we can take photograph for our memory with uh, architect Edi. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I will take the screenshot. Yes. One, two, and three. Okay, good, nice. Wonderful. All thank right, you. thank you. Thank you, you. very much. Architect Widi. Yeah. Terima kasih. <laughs> Sama -sama, <Pak> <laughs> Sampai jumpa kembali. Yeah, yeah. Sampai jumpa kembali ya. Yeah. Yeah. Nanti Terima saya kasih. ke nanti saya ke Bali nanti kita jumpa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, terima kasih semuanya. Selamat All malam. Right. Selamat Take malam. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Be safe. Bye. Bye. Good night.